Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for joining me on my daily vlog. Today we're in South Philadelphia on 7th Street, AKA Cambodia Town. I'm like craving for like some beef sticks, right? And I want authentic street food. I had to come over here to Philadelphia again and uh, come and see my peoples, Cambodia Town. Or there's this place over here in Philadelphia, South Philadelphia on 7th and Daly Street. So this place right here is right in the cut, right in the alleyway. As soon as you walk around in this area, you'll see the smoke. I can't wait to taste this. It's gonna taste like Cambodian New Year. And Cambodian New Year is this weekend. It tastes so good. Well, we asked her like, uh, what makes her beef sticks and chicken sticks so good? She just said, just cause it's good, you know? <laughs> like people, people love it, you know what I mean? Simple as that. It's good cause people are pulling up right now. It's like a, it's like a mini drive through Mm. This weekend for Khmer New Year, come to South Philly. Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for joining me on my daily vlog. Today I'm in South Philadelphia on 7th Street, AKA Cambodia Town. I'm like craving for like some beef sticks, right? And I want authentic street food. So what better way to come get some, some authentic street food? Uh, I had to come over here to Philadelphia again and uh, come and see my peoples, Cambodia Town. Or there's this place over here in Philadelphia, South Philadelphia on 7th and Daly Street. And the people here are so friendly. You can just smell the uh, the beef sticks and the chicken sticks right in this corner, right in this alleyway. This way, that's why, so you don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So we, that's right, so we here in South Philadelphia. <laughs> so this place right here is right in the cut, right in the alleyway. When when we have events here, this corner, or this, this whole street right here is crowded. You'll see a lot of people here kind of, uh, crowded up waiting for their their chicken sticks and their beef sticks and you could just smell that beautiful charred flavor charred beef it just smells like street like perfect street Cambodian food all right why we asked her like uh, what makes her beef sticks and chicken sticks so good she just said just cuz it's good you know what I mean? like people, <laughs> people love it you know what I mean the simple as that and it, it, it smells great I'm sure it tastes great you got people pulling up, you know? Like it. <laughs> it's good because people are pulling up right now. It's like a, it's like a mini drive through So it's like you got, it's on a side street, but you got people pulling up, putting their orders. You know what I'm saying? You gotta love it. You gotta love the culture around here. So mainly this is just like beef sticks, chicken sticks, and sausages. But if you want baklahong, aka papaya salad, you're gonna have to go elsewhere and that's what we about to do so we go this car this car is so caked up in charcoal smoke probably grease and all that that it turns into like one of those uh you look at it like damn where do they park next to and you can smell it too you know it acts like a marketing tool for it so this is a great marketing plan because you can write your name and everything on there you know got your music up on there say so what's up what's your so, name hey what's up this is elmo from south p What's yeah. going on, AKA Emily? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she recognized that? me through the Chinese uh, Yo, Joe window. Yo, Joe I was like, hey, is that Jupiter right there? That is him. What's up? Caught him on Stone Street. What's up? You ready? I'll let your boy, yo. He's you ready for shit. New Year? You ready for oh, New Year? Yeah. Place right there, that's see? That's the spot, yo. That's where I go. She got good gizzards, but she don't make it all the time because nobody come from. Yo, every like, place oh, I go, they never have gizzards when I want them. She be having them. What is that about? Because nobody want them around here like I do. What? I, I love me some gizzards. You know yeah, you mean? better eat some now before you get old. You ain't going to have no Teeth to chew on them. That's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact, right? Real there. Asian food, right there. Word, which word. I don't eat a lot of Asian, but Bahok, that's what you got me doing. Bahok, that bahok. day when I was watching, I was told watching my sister that. to make it for me. We go there. We take, I'm having the whole area taking Thuk Bahok to like steakhouses. Yeah, you, know what I'm you have to. That's that's our thing. That's our old, um, Asian culture stuff. Yeah, it stank, but it smelled good. Tastes you know good. I mean? That's all that matters, you know. South Philly in the house. Yeah, What's up? That's what I do, Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> We got the order right here, and I'm gonna just do a taste test, all right? Ooh, look at that. Y'all see that? So this is the beef sticks. Oh, it's like, if you know if you know what I'm talking about, this just smells, smells like heaven. Mmm. Look at it! We can say we got a dime, so what? I just paid $16 for this. Mmm. Came to me. It tastes so good. I love South Philly, you know? Gotta love South Philly. But this beef steak is off the hook. It's sweet, it's smoky, 
It's charred. It's tender. It's the bomb. Mmm. We got it. That cut of beef is just right. We got the right amount of fat to meat portion. Because that fat is what holds in the flavor. Off the hook. Only thing that's missing really is buckle home. Let's try the chicken sticks. Mmm. Oh. You see the smoke on that? Woo! Off the hook. Man, cooked perfectly. Man, I wish I had some buckle home. I told y'all, this ain't complete until you get some buckle home because chicken sticks and beef sticks is only right if you get some buckle home. This was hand delivered. I don't know where it came from. A lady just popped up like, yeah, I heard you, uh, I heard you put an order for some buckle home. And I'm like, uh, yeah, that's true. And she just handed me this. You gotta love it, right? Let's, let's open it up to see what it looked like real quick. This buckle hung is gonna, I already know, it's gonna go perfect with the beef sticks and the chicken sticks. And it just looks amazing already. As soon as you open it, you get that fish sauce. It just, just looks refreshing. You get the fresh tomatoes. Like this is off the hook. You got like the uh, salted crabs. Can y'all see that? So we gonna taste it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, one time for the culture. Mmm. Oh. That is all that. That was so good. I can't wait to take this home and eat it. We got beef sticks, chicken sticks, buckle home. Dinner is about to be really lit. Shout out to South Philly. If you want that authentic, authentic Khmer barbecue this weekend for Khmer New Year, come to South Philly. Can't go wrong. So we got it, y'all. My cipher is complete. Yo, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment. If you have any questions, if you need to know exactly where it's at, or if you need the lady's phone number, just message me, man. This is probably one of the best buckle hunger I've ever had in my life.